Hello! Ouch out! Ouch out! Ouch out! Good morning, everyone! So, today is again a very blessed Monday morning. And before I begin, I would like to say uh, hello to all my friends in Cagayan. Agkabkabalaaw na kakabagyan idakin angkel anti dita Cagayan. Uh, keep safe, ah, <laughs> ta uh, Cagayan, Philippines. And um, yes, before also, I would like to also ouch out to all our mothers yesterday for um, Happy Mother's Day po for everyone. And uh, being a child whose mother has died already when I was nine years old, I advise you to don't take this uh, your time with your mothers for granted so Aww. every day tell them how much you love them okay so yeah today's workout is just a recovery eight kilometer run because uh, last saturday we just ran the 19 kilometers so now we try to recover from this run a few moments later 1.5 kilometer and i want to share that based on my experience as a as a runner I noticed that uh, many of us runners, especially also when I was young, when I have a hard workout, for example, today, like a long run, and then the next day, I will rest, and then the next day also, I will rest. The next day also, I will rest again. <laughs> so it's like one week resting. Like when I had my first 21 kilometer, I just rested the whole week. So I am back, we're almost done with our recovery run, yeah, but chill lang tayo. And uh, I think based on my experience, as an athlete who's been running for almost a decade, oh, about 10 years, happy 10th anniversary! I noticed that when my recovery after a long run is either active, it means like sometimes I don't run, but I still have brisk walking or have a slow jog like this, my recovery is faster and uh, nabasa ko po, di ba, na ayun nga, active recovery is better kasi nga parang um, uh, some, uh, some lactic acid are being flushed out from your system and also like it also promotes the blood circulation, no, di ba, in our body. So faster your recovery so the next days like your legs are already ready sa bakbakan so ayun so later i'm going to show you my own techniques my secrets pero si share ko na sa inyo of ways to recover aside from a slow job so this includes my personal massage therapy see ya <laughs> Squammer! Shout out to my Squammer John! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, as I told you a while ago during my run, maybe you didn't understand because it's so hard naman to, to talk and run, diba? But I want to remind you again that for me, yeah, uh, based on my experience as a uh, semi semi experience <laughs> now let's say because 10 years let's say experience runner okay i'm a bit credible to say this but yeah based on my experience it's better to have recovery days like uh with active recovery so active recovery means either you're having a brisk walk or a light jog the days after a long run why because this running can boost uh, circulation of blood in your legs, diba? So sa legs po natin yan, yung mga dugo magpo-flow, tsaka new um, oxygen, yung mga oxygen po, we can supply oxygen levels again sa ating uh, legs especially, you know? So that we became, uh, the recovery is faster and the next day, we're ready for a harder, harder run. So yeah, if you don't want to have a light jog, you can have brisk walk, ganyan. Or some other exercises like dancing, ganyan. Some still aerobic uh, exercises. So that, yun nga. Aside from that, lactic acid will also be flushed out. Yeah. These are just some of the benefits of having a um, active exercise rather than static exercise or as active recovery after a long run. So I hope you learned something for today and later I will show you my techniques. Grace, do it yourself. 
massage. Foot massage. Wow, excited kayo. <laughs> I know. See you later. A few moments later. <laughs> and we're home. And we're back. Okay. As I have mentioned, today is a recovery day. So I will show you my tips on how I usually recover basing on my experience. Right. I have been running almost... I started 2000, I think before 2011, 2010. So I have been running 20 years. So it, I'm speaking in behalf of all my experience. Oh, diba? Feels like experience. <laughs> so during my life as an athlete, I have been into many running injuries already. And so I learned, I think I have been learning a lot and I'm continuously learning, still learning. And now I want to uh, share to you one of the important ways how to recover properly as an athlete so this is one of the ways to recover is to stretch of course and to do uh, massaging it's very important because massage in general uh, improves the blood circulation in our body especially the legs which is overused but overused and overused during our runs so um, as an athlete I have already um have collected <laughs> a set of my recovery stuff so this is just uh, a bit latest one of my latest um recovery uh, massage but before when i did not have much money i just used the golf this is the golf golf ball and this is like the tennis ball so how to use this usually we roll here it targets the this part your uh, shins, shin part. So, yeah, just it's massaging also the part of your heel, the shins, because usually here some injuries can happen like shin splints. So, yeah, we just try to oh, massage this one. Yeah, because normally this part is also connected to many parts of your feet la. as i told you this does not only target your heels but also the shins so do on both feet ah sarap. <laughs> then later this tennis ball i normally use for my calf calves <laughs> so I don't know also but I just massage especially this part the back of my knees is also becoming tight after um, runs especially long runs so actually these balls are very good because they can target the very tight parts of your uh, the legs so you can really feel like ah some parang po butok parang try try best. and it's not so expensive i mean japanese in japanese yen like uh, having 100 yen this one is already good because normally in japan like we say 100 yen is almost the basic one <laughs> yeah in in japan we say piso pahinga no piso is 100 yen uh, in philippines like the one one peso one piso <laughs> so just there and also it can also target this part the back of the butt really going with the hamstrings yeah try to massage that part yeah. very good I think it's like uh, having a massage dun sa mga tindahan kasi mahal dun eh. <laughs> so I just do by myself so this is DIY massage and finally also I do this one this is good kasi mahaba siya so it can also target even your back so I start from my back yeah uh yeah yeah oh yeah and do it at least one part of the body is around the maybe 10 to 20 seconds do many reps also the back here And also sides, yung part ng ITB, yung mga ilyatilyal, bag natin, what to do.
this side also. Sometimes I even use it for the head because yeah, during very stressful work days, masakit din ang ulo mo. So I also do for my head, for my back. So many, many use of this uh, massage roll. <laughs> so I recommend you to, if you can find guess, uh, mga second hand shops, you can find this one. Or there, there are cheaper versions of uh, this type also, like uh, 1000 level, that's already okay price. And yeah, because normally you can see it 4,000 in Amazon. It's very expensive. And this one, very interesting parts. This is like different surfaces. It can also give uh, a little more, parang if, yung different effect niya sa, sa, sa katawan mo. So ito medyo matulis-tulis, ganyan. So ito naman, parang, ba sa massage. O oh, iba't iba yung effect niya. So different pressure yan pressure effect somebody so this one I recommend so there are also longer types it depends on you what you want you like but so far for me it's already uh, enough and uh, I also have this one for my head <laughs> yeah sometimes you need to think so much so the you have migraine so yes this is 100 yen <laughs> Daiso not sponsored <laughs> and Yes. Also, I have my own like uh, resistance bands. So how to use? Also, during recovery, I also try to to exercise other parts of my body, like to make my core muscles stronger. So like for example, this one. You can put there. And then, yeah, actually you can like resistance resistance bands. So during recovery, it's also a good uh, opportunity to make the other parts of our body stronger, like the upper part, the core muscles, so to prevent also injury and also better running form, which also improves running efficiency. Yeah. Right? So also you can do front, back. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Rather that, pwede naman yung ganun lang, but the resistance will also help or make the the muscles stronger, the resistance. And finally, the one that I will show you is like a massage that we just buy from our bazaar, but yeah, this one. Yeah, actually, if this is tataki massager. But if you buy it, maybe originally it's quite expensive. I think it's it's around 5,000 yen, 2,000 pesos, or higit no. But we just buy, guess what? <laughs> Only we buy 100, 100 yen. So, like, w when we plug it, like, it's like, okay. Maybe I'll try to show you this one. Okay, look. So here, turn on. So tuk tuk tuk, just very slow. Oh, ayano, diba? It's like the massage. So it's like mimicking yung ginagawa sa, sa massage na ganon. Diba? Parang ganon siya. But here, oh, diba? Or, yeah, I also use it for my legs, especially for recovery. This is a bit slow, so you can make a bit faster. You know, diba? So, the, this is very important because massage is improving the circulation of the blood in the legs especially. So that fresh blood will promote also faster recovery in the legs. Oh, that one. This is especially this part, the ITB. Yeah, very tight. Very cheap now. <laughs> the 
Pwede siya kakod dito. Sandali. Yun. Yeah. And I think that's all for my uh, recovery massage for the day. Of course, aside from massage, I also do a lot of uh, stretches to improve my flexibility. That one we will discuss in another uh, vlog about uh, running and exercise. And uh, I forgot to mention, you noticed that a while ago I was using my makiling uh, t-shirt. But now I changed to this one and this because it's very important after I run. Uh, for sure, the t-shirt punong puno po ng, ano, ng pawis, yung ating t-shirt, we're full of sweat. And uh, we have to make sure that right after the run, just change it to dry clothes. So that you avoid uh, the evaporation of this perspiration that can cool you down, lalamigin kayo, later maybe makasakit kayo, kalagnat. And uh, of course, aside from this uh, recovery steps, of uh, massaging yourself you can also improve your recovery by eating the proper food like for example after uh, runs i normally eat banana oh later some vlogs about banana maybe excited kayo no yes very important banana it's full of potassium and some other nutrients kaya napakahalaga so hindi lang ito oh. okay ako talib sa ito i also have a lot of I also eat a lot of fruits. I put investment on fruits, even though I think in Japan it's quite pricey. The price of the fruits and vegetables is a little expensive than Philippines for sure. But yeah, for me, uh, investing on the health is very important. And hindi mo dapat sayang yung pera mo for your health because mas mahal pa nga ang, ang gamot. Mas mahal po magkasakit. So this one, and of course, a lot of water. I don't drink all the time alkaline, <laughs> but yeah, drink a lot of water, okay? So that's all for the nutrition part, but I hope you enjoyed my massaging tips for today. So let me know. I will also, in the next vlog, show you how to become more flexible if you want to uh, split, <laughs> to learn how to split. I can teach you because I started not even uh, having... Uh, split skills. Okay, see you later and have a blessed day. Bye-bye!